All right, so like I said, this is where we're gonna be researching and validating your niche. And this is easily one of the most important lessons because so many people just literally jump into things without doing the proper research. And simple research can truly be the difference between succeeding and not succeeding. I promise you. That's what I can really attribute so much of my success to. It's like when I wanna know something, I get out there and I research it like for real. And it's so important because if you're just doing something and you're doing it the wrong way, but you don't know you're doing it the wrong way, you'll just keep doing it the wrong way, right? But if you do some research and, and figure out the right way and just continue improving, you'll continue to grow. And similarly, when you're thinking about picking a certain niche, if you don't do the proper research on the other channels out there and the competition, you may be doing something and just setting yourself up for failure without even knowing it right so super important and right here i have another pdf here if we open this up it's just 28 of those niches i picked with example channels that i think are some of the most profitable channels right here so i'm not saying you have to pick one of these niches but they are some of the most profitable ones and these are all no face channel examples here okay if you did the action item for the last video you should have a list of one to five niches okay so this is what I want you to do for this, okay? The first step is for those niches, you wanna get some channels listed for them because the, the first step is making sure that there's actually channels out there that have a decent following and are getting decent views for that niche. If you can't find a channel in that niche that you wanna be in, it's not worth being in that niche. It's not because someone else didn't think of it, I promise. It's just because it just probably doesn't work very well on YouTube, and that's okay. But don't try and just start something new, right? Don't reinvent the wheel. I promise you, you're setting yourself up for failure by doing something like that, okay? So what I did is I just took, I think it's 28, and I just put example channels here. That's the first step. Now let me show you how to find channels on YouTube, okay? So if we go to YouTube, and let's say you're interested in, what's one of these? Guided meditation, all right? Let's type in guided meditation, and then what you do is you go to filters and you sort it by channel, okay? So that's one way to find a ton of channels around guided meditation, all right? You can also start just watching videos and then looking at the suggested feed. All right, so that's really how I found these channels and that's the most simple way, okay? Now I'm gonna go back to this page. I'm just gonna make a copy of this for example, but you should have your own page with your one to five listed out, right? And you should have now channels under each of them, okay? So just make sure you're following along. I'm just gonna use this as example and pretend it's my five niches I picked or one niche or whatever you picked. It's not a big deal. Now what you wanna do is you wanna watch those videos. You wanna do a ton more research into those channels, okay? So you wanna figure out things like um, how long are their videos? How do they monetize their videos? Do they have a website? Do they use any other social media platforms? You could even go like, what disclaimers are in their description? How do they write their description? You get what I'm saying? So you just wanna do a ton of research into that, okay? So for example, if, let's not do it for this niche because I would never do an animal niche personally. Let's do it for one that I would probably be more likely to do, which out of this list, if I was to pick a couple, I think drama is really good. Tech, I love tech personally. Um, manifestation, that's great. Guided meditation, life hacks. Um, where's another one that I like? Crypto. Um, personal finance, those are some great ones that I would pick, okay? So let's let's do like uh, the crypto one, just because I think this guy's channel is cool, okay? So if we go to his channel right here, it's the five minute crypto. So this is great for a ton of reasons, right? For one, it's it's the type of channel where you don't have to really work that hard to come up with the content because he's just doing it on like things that are coming out in the news like will elon musk create his own thing talking about like all the elon musk's like stuff in the news lately if you follow that and his videos are less like around five minutes most of them less than five minutes maybe six minutes whatever but shorter videos quicker to make right 
Oh, one thing you definitely want to make sure how how often do they upload? That's key. Okay, so this is what you want to do for all of them. And you can go more in depth, you just want to get as much info and do as much research into these channels as possible. The more the merrier, literally, I'm telling you, it may seem silly, but I'm dead serious about this. It's crazy because you want to do in business in life, whatever, what others are not going to do. Most people are not going to do this and that'll set yourself apart already before you even got started. I'm telling you. So anyway, so what we would do is go here and be like, it would be like roughly five minutes. I'm going to not bold that obviously. So roughly five minutes. Okay. And then another thing you could add right here is we could go right here. Obviously you can click here and see their name, but if you wanted to name of channel, because that is going to tell you, Oh, if they have a certain thing in their channel, like, oh, they have crypto in their channel that helps with SEO. Maybe you want to name your channel similar to that. Okay, so what was it? Five minute crypto. Okay, and then how often do they upload? So let's check that. Look at one, two, three, four, five times a day, right? So let's say three to five times a day. Let's put it like that. So it's easier to see. Okay. So then how do they monetize their videos? Okay, so let's click on one of their videos here. So you see they have ads, so they have ad revenue. So that's one ad revenue. Okay, so they have exchange. So you see how it's partnered. So that's like an affiliate product. They're getting a commission by promoting that they have a Patreon. So that's like where people join your community and they donate to you every month. So that's another one. So let's see. They have a discord channel and they have a second channel. So like you would want to put all of that. They have a Twitter account. Okay. So that's that answered a couple questions there. So they have affiliate products and then you could hit enter and then tab was how I did that. And you could list the product. So it was like an exchange, the, uh, the wallet, whatever, whatever. Right. So then to go back over whether you're using Google docs or not, I like Google docs personally, but you just hit this decrease indent. Go back to that little quick hack. <laughs> but uh, what was the other one? They have Patreon. Hey, I'm back from my COVID shot. This is the next day. Obviously, you can see this is a different shirt, but I was just watching that video over and I realized I kind of like blasted through the whole affiliate marketing and monetization methods. And I'm going to explain monetization methods later in this program. But like, I just want to say if you have no idea what affiliate marketing is, that's where you're promoting other people's products and you get a commission. I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. But I already understand how all of these things work. And I and I don't want you to feel like overwhelmed just now. So if you don't know what any of this stuff is, and if it's a brand new niche, you won't. So what you do is you just click click on the links, you check out what product it is, you can even write the exact product rather than just like exchange or wallet or whatever, just write the exact product. Because later on, if you're in that niche, you're going to probably want to promote the same products, right? So just again, get more specific, click on it, do a little more research, because obviously you won't have the knowledge that I have of this niche, right? And I, if I clicked on like a random dog or animal niche, right? Like I wouldn't know I would have to go into it more. And that's just about what running a business is. It's just like you got to research, you got to be willing to, to put in that effort and figure it out and ask questions if you're confused. So I just wanted to add that in. I hope that helps a little bit. But Again, if you have any questions at all, please reach out to me. Just post in the Facebook group. Happy to help. Back to your video now. And they have a Discord. That's probably a free Discord. We could check it out right here. So it's probably just a free Discord, but they can promote stuff. That's just building community. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's free. But uh, you see, they got a lot of members, um, which is crazy. So he must have like a bigger channel, maybe. Let's check his second channel. No, it's small. Maybe he just has like a big Twitter following. Let's check that out. Yeah, he has 24K on Twitter. So yeah, so he he has like a decent following there. So with crypto, a lot of them, like all of them use Twitter. So you got to understand how some of these things are niche specific. And you wouldn't know this if you didn't do the proper research. Okay. So again, this is like Discord, I guess, is kind of monetized, but not really. Maybe we'll just add that to other social media platforms. You know what I mean? So they got Discord, Twitter. Um, did they have another one? They had a second channel we could put, I guess. Might as well. So let's just do second YouTube channel. 
do they have a website? They don't have their own website. They're just doing affiliate products pretty much. So yeah, they don't have their own website. If they had a website, most likely it would be called 5minutecrypto.com or something along the lines of that. Most crypto people are probably not going to have like a blog or a website. If they do have a website, it's going to be like a sales page for some type of course or some type of like sending people their, uh, what are they called? Uh, I, whatever, when, whenever they purchase a crypto, signals. They send signals or whatever. So that's just for this niche. I don't know all niches, but that's just an example. So no website. And then what disclaimers are in their description? You see, this is not financial advice. These links may earn me money. So that's an affiliate commission and that's a not financial advice uh, disclaimer. What did I call that? But uh, <laughs> this is an affiliate disclaimer and that's a not financial advice disclaimer. But uh, yeah, so two disclaimers right there. We'll just copy and paste those. But uh, so we'll do that. That's, that's probably not how I would write them, but now you know how he writes them. You know what I mean? And how did they write their description? It's just links, right? So it's nothing really like I would do personally, but that's how they do it. You could copy and paste this if you wanted just so you have it. But uh, yeah, so we'll just do that. So there you go. Just from that, you now have so much information on this channel. It's insane, right? And once you're done with all that, I think you'll start feeling like which one kind of grabs at you the most, right? And maybe sleep on it for a day and just think about it. Don't jump into it because you're gonna be in this niche. And I'm not saying you could never create another channel or you can't change niches, but really you want one channel at the start. You wanna really focus on it and you wanna be very specific, okay? But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. As for the action item for this video, like I said, you already have your niches picked out, you're one to five. If you don't, look at that, that button below this video for the 28 profitable niches. And then for your list of one to five niches, do all this research, get their channel name. And you can even use the same uh, things, like same questions or whatever you wanna call these as I did, all right? So here, I will uh, just like delete all this right here. And then I will copy and paste it. And then I'll put it down at the bottom of this page. And there you go. We'll just make this a little bigger. So that's just some of the questions or whatever, the information you wanna get. Feel free to add more, do it however you want. You could even put these things in a spreadsheet, however you wanna do it, whatever works best for you, but yeah. So make sure you do that for the niches you picked. And if you have any questions, feel free to post in the group and let me know. That's all I got. See you on the next video.